Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of July 2021. Now your first card here is the King of Swords. Your partner or person of interest is the Star card. We have the Tower. We have the World card here and the Prince of Cups. Okay. You guys have beautiful cards, Aries. So what they're saying here is for the, the remaining of the month of July, I see you guys really analyzing, really trying to figure out um, what it is exactly that you want in regards to this connection or this relationship. What they're showing me here is you may be a little bit distant or maybe a little bit too much in your head. There is a need for you to not completely block yourself or pull your energy away. What they're asking here is that there is a need for you to embrace this connection. Now, we do have the star card. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. You may also be dealing with a Taurus, uh, a Leo, a Libra, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Um, but what they're showing me here is the dynamic itself is the Tower card. So this is something that is unfolding. This is predestined. There is no accident in meeting this person or dealing with the person. This is a person that has came into your life and has completely transformed it. Uh, whether it's for the positive or negative. And when I say negative, it could be that you're a little bit like in the defensive. You're, like I said, I, I see you very analytical, very much in your head. Um, not really rushing to try to actively pursue this connection. And it could be because um, this person is challenging. Uh, they're challenging your beliefs. They're challenging what you've considered up until now, what your life or your life path should be. Um, the star card usually does indicate to me a person that could be extremely spiritual or a person that is uh, very self-aware. Um, and you're coming up as the king of swords. So as you can see, there is a major, there's a major arcana here and um, a royal card. So this is indicating to me having the need to really be able to, like I said, figure out exactly what it is that you want from this connection only because uh, the star card is a major arcana. So this is speaking to me about a person, like I said, that is very self-aware. This is a person that knows exactly what it is that they want and they're not entertaining anything that is temporary. And I feel that for some of you guys, you may be triggered uh, in the sense of, trying to introspect, go within and analyze, you know, am I where I want to be at this point in my life? Am I even able to give them uh, whatever commitment or whatever it is that they're expecting when we're talking about relationships? And there could be certain aspects of yourself, shadow side, that is taking center stage where you acknowledge or you understand that there is more work that needs to be done within yourself because we do have the tower here. So again, tower is something that is very quick, is very sudden. Now, we do have the world card here. So what they're indicating to me is that this connection um, is of a higher type of connection. We're not talking about anything that is accidental. We're talking about destiny here. And with the world card, they're asking you, there is a need for you to uh, go to the next cycle in your life, being clear on exactly what it is that you want when we're talking about love and when we're talking about a partner. What is it that you are expecting or wanting um, from your partner? And are you able to reciprocate that type of energy? Because the world card does indicate the higher elevation of commitment. And it could be that up until this point, the tower, you haven't really either dealt with someone that knows exactly what it is that they want and they want absolute certainty um, because they're very clear on what it is that they want from a partner. So again, there's a lot of introspection that's going on within yourself right now, Aries. I can tell you that if you guys are dealing with someone you recently met, this is going to be unfolding in the month of July all the way to August where this person is really going to 
like trigger you in the positive way. They're going to trigger you in the uh, in the sense of rationalizing. You know, I'm dealing with someone that is not about mind games. It's not about playing. It, it's I have to step up and take it to the next level. And, and it is about your growth, Aries. So again, major transformation here. Uh, with the Prince of Cups here, what they're asking you, the likely outcome is if you open your heart and push yourself to the limit, really understand and know what it is that you deserve and put the effort or be willing to put the effort to see how far it can go. This can turn into something very, very fulfilling for you. The start is ultimately our wish, our hope, our desire. So again, I don't want to see you guys miss this opportunity out of fear or out of the feeling of you're not ready or you're not worthy because you are. This is why everything is happening the way it is. So again, if you have not met this person, do not you know, surprise yourself if this person comes into your life at the end of July, beginning of August, because it's going to completely transform your life in a positive way. Uh, like I said, this is a higher elevation type of uh, connection. It, it's not accidental and it's nothing that is going to be temporary. It's going to be life changing for you, Aries. So beautiful reading. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.